Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do the um, 49 Dragonflies 5 Items Challenge where you have a partner and um, they send you 5 items to use and you have to make something out of those 5 items. But first I wanted to show you from the last challenge that I finished up um, my journaling cards. After painting them, I think they turned out pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't really necessarily mind that they're shiny. They're sturdy. So they have writing space on the back. And um, I'll just go ahead and put them in my ephemera box of things that are ready to go. Which I don't have that many. Because um, <clears throat> I generally make what I get on the way. Um, but my partner... Her name is Brenda, and I will uh, link her Instagram in the description box below um, so that you can see, you know, what she posts, the pictures that she posts. I don't know if she'll post them there or on Facebook, but either way, she sent me this beautiful card that um, she watercolored herself, and these uh, stickers were on the envelope. And stuff, so I took them off and put them on. And she sent me this um, wood die cut flower. I, I'm assuming it's a flower. Oh, it could be a bee. Oh, I think it might be a bee. I think that's antenna and wings and eyeballs. Oh, well, I um, embossed it in gold because it came like that. Um, and I'm just going to put it right here on the center of that. And it came in this envelope made out of wallpaper. And I'm, I'm just going to use it as the cover. And she sent me a couple of pages. A coloring page. She also did this page here. And a um, <clears throat> piece of tissue paper that she had stamped on. Right there. Uh, she sent me a dictionary page. And then I added some other, you know, painted papers and stuff to go in there. And she sent me these two doilies. Um, and back here, you can't really see it, but it uh, was this uh, little plastic wrapper that had tape on it. And I thought, well, I'll just put it on as a pocket. And it's got tickets that she sent me as well. But I'm leaving this side open so that I can use it to put stuff in. And on this side, I used the rest of the leftover piece of the watercolor paper that she sent me and put the other tickets on that side. So I'm going to sew the signature in to here. And then I will glue um, this piece on and then add the B to the front and I think I'm going to use this as a glue book so that is my plan on that and, oh and she sent me this pretty lace that I'm going to put around like a crocheted lace type piece that I'm going to use I don't know if I want to put it on the like put it on the spine or if I want to I don't know yet. <clears throat> I'll figure that out. But I'm going to go ahead and sew these in first. And I've got uh, my, my needles and some... I just keep some twine. Little twine threads in here. I don't know which one I want. I also have an um, elastic in here in case I want to do like Midori style. Let me grab a needle. Not that one. No, not that one. Where's it? There we are. Um, I just keep regular needles in here too. <clears throat> and my awl, which I have used um, a little knitting needle cap that I put on the end of it so you know I don't stab myself or anything. <clears throat> just grab some glue paper here right quick and okay 
Okay. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. baby cutter here that I can use to trim the end of the thread off with. <clears throat> okay, so let me put those back in so I don't knock them off the table or anything. Okay, put that back in there for now. And I will put my cap back on the needle. think I am going to put the threads on the inside of a little book here. I'm just going to clip this, this thread there. That way I don't have to worry about it. Um, coming loose or anything. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Okay, make sure I didn't get it under. <clears throat> Pull that off, pull that one on that side, put this one underneath so they're on both sides. Okay. And I usually tie mine three times to make sure that they are secure. of them so I'll just trim it right there. Okay. So now I'm done with those. And I just put these little clips, these four, in here. That way I have everything to put my needle back before I lose it. Set that off to the side. Those back. Okay. So, yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like right now. I didn't open this side, I'm going to leave it closed. that she splashed watercolor on. Low coloring page. Other part of the coloring page, which I didn't cut off. I just, because I might make it a pocket later on. And this just folds over. <clears throat> the other piece is a tissue paper. In the dictionary page that she sent me. It's an old book page. It's 
old uh, children's workbook page. And then the doilies. A little bitty pocket there. Um, she had also sent me um, a beautiful card that she made. <clears throat> right here where it says make new friends, which I thought was really pretty. And I might put it somewhere in the book. Maybe in the back. Or something. I don't know. I haven't decided. I may just put it in the pocket. There. I don't know. Could. Glue it right in here though. On the inside. to have it and then she sent me this this card with a sweet note on the inside and I'm gonna hang this up in my craft room so that I can always see it I keep all of my uh, cards and letters and stuff that people send me I still have some leftover um, of the tissue paper that she sent with the stamping that she's done and I'm going to save that for something else. I think it would look great in a little sewing journal or something. So I am going to save that and put it with my other tissue paper. And then um, she sent me it's a special meal, five items plus bonus. Um, so I may just put that. Actually, I think I'll just glue it on here. Use that too. Why not? Cause I, I don't mind using all that. Um, like I said, I'm probably gonna turn this into a glue book. Um, <clears throat> you know, for collage. Although I won't be um, collaging on uh, any of the papers that she stamped on or made. But I don't mind. Um, uh, Collaging on the rest of it. There we go. All right. Now I'll leave that for now because I don't know exactly what I want to do with that. So I will close that up. <clears throat> okay. Still have my bone folder. Use my scissors handle. Okay. <clears throat> now, I am going to put this on here. I'm just going to use my uh, fabric pack. Put that on. I am doing another challenge will be on Tuesday and it is called uh, let me think what it's called it's a, a monthly collage challenge um, it's the same one that Julie from Camellia Crafts Design is doing um, it's just kind of funny because I planned on doing that too when she announced it's called the 2020 2022 collage challenge February 2nd um, the style is shabby chic, the theme is story time for kids, the colors are green and teal, a uh, paper is textured, shiny, metallic, or embossed, uh, the focal point is a person, so the marks are dots, dashes, or patterns, and the shape is square, rectangle, or oblong, and then you have swap or bonus items with the scrapbook paper, stationary digitals or computer paper you can swap two items if you don't want to use other items or you can just add them if you want to to whatever it is that you're making so i've got to do some thinking on that to figure out what it is that i want to make <clears throat> uh, 
for the for the challenge. I don't know, but uh, because it's a monthly collage challenge, figured it's a lot easier than you know trying to do a weekly challenge, you know, especially between school and stuff. I, I prefer to have a monthly challenge, and then I'll have my CUC uh, prompt challenge coming up for February too when Amanda announces that and there is a uh, line dot uh is it line dot arrow yes uh, natalie is having a challenge a facebook challenge uh that i was invited to to make something out of um some pages from her new digital kit um she had some freebies there that you can make something with and so I will probably be doing that as well so apparently February is filled with challenges for me or the end of January slash February but that's all right I don't mind. Okay, so I'm just going to use my fabric glue also for uh, to put this on. Put my bee on. I was sent the wrong glue, so I've got to deal with this magic blue stuff until it's gone. Oh, I was not happy about that. I had ordered the color glue from Uhu, Uhu, however you say it, because it's actually different than the magic blue stuff. It's, um, uh, magic blue is water-based. The other Uhu glue, purple glue, it's supposed to be purple. But, um, apparently Uhu stopped making the purple and they don't sell it anymore, but they're still advertising it as the same thing. So I had to send them an email and tell them that they're not even made out of the same stuff. It's not the same glue. Now, how do I want to do this? Because this is... But... Since I'd already opened the package, I told him I would keep it and just use it up, but I won't be ordering anymore. Um, do I want to put that like that for a bit of bling? Uh-huh. I'll just use it as a closure. Just tie it on. How cute is that? So there she is. My little glue book made out of the five items that I was sent by Brenda. I think it turned out pretty cute. And um, it gave me plenty of pages for a bit to practice uh, collaging with. So there we go. So when we come back, I will be doing the other challenge. Um, for 49 dragonflies, no, I'm sorry, that's what I'm doing now, I mean, for the other one, and I will, on that video, I'll link all the information and let you know, um, you know, who's doing it and all that good stuff, and I'll get all the information. Um, yes, I think I'm going to put this... <coughs> into the pocket here so that I have it. Okay. 
so there is all that. So there we go. So I'll set that off to the side for a minute. And I was going to show you guys, um, well, actually, I was going to show Sh uh, Cheryl uh, Wilm from uh, Cheryl Wilm Ethelou's Unique Boutique, because she made some of these that Julie also made on her channel, Camellia Crafts Designs. Um, these little pockets that's uh, made from using two 6x6 six six pages. I was just going to show her my version, which I sewed around. So there's a pocket in the front, pocket in the back. And this one has um, actually my favorite zigzag stitch that's on my sewing machine. Um, I don't know why, but I really like that um, zigzag pattern. And this one is just done with straight stitch all the way around. But it has the pocket tape. And um, it's really easy. All you do is take two six by sixes and you score them both at two and a half inches. You know, fold one up, fold one, you know, fold them at that and then slot them on top of each other and then either glue or sew around them. And then you can put your thumb notches in and ink around them. So that's pretty much all you do. But you can watch um, Cheryl's channel or you can watch Julie's channel. And I um, I actually did add these to the giveaway. Uh, not these two particularly, but um, I did add some to the giveaway. And I have to draw for that today, I believe. So yeah, so that will be the next video coming up. So... I shall see you guys later, and um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!